copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this video we're gonna be looking at josh asbo taylor i found one of his videos on tiktok it is basically a welsh lesbian man so what we're gonna call that officer in this video is lesbian pc lesbian nan's welsh cousin and in that one she basically does the same thing what pc lesbian does lesbian nan does just pepper sprays everybody randomly abuses her powers to abuse people's rights but i did find this video on a different channel asked them if i could use it didn't reply but I'd already found the source of the, the videos, got in touch with them, and they've given me permission to use the videos and sent me the videos over. So yes, you've seen that correctly. Just randomly spraying everybody. We'll start this video from the very beginning. This video was sent to me in pieces. I have now got it in the correct order for how this interaction best worked out and this at the end. No, I need to speak to the manager. No. Is it not your? I'm banned. How am I banned? Just because you said I'm banned. It, it's tough, I need to speak to the manager. Well, we weren't recording them, were we? He just come up to the window with an iPad and start recording us. Yeah, and it's a public place. Yeah, but not when you're walking around. Uh, it is a public place. Yeah. We can walk wherever we want. All right, would you say the same to a Muslim woman wearing a burqa? And do you know what? I totally agree with that. During COVID, they told everybody to wear face coverings. But now, if you wear a face covering, you can be banned from places. Where's the logic in that? And Wales was super strict. I live right on the border of Wales and England. There was two separate rules. So if I went into Wales, there was pulling people over and fanning them. You couldn't go into Wales at all. So they had even more stricter rules than they did in England. But now if you wear a face covering, you get banned from the shops and it's intimidating and all this other stuff. Bollocks. Yeah, all right, jog on. See you later, dismissed. They are not walking out based on intimidating people. We're, we're not intimidating. No. We aren't. I've got it all on video, start to finish. There's See you later. I'm not intimidating no one. What, what are you doing? Are you trying to intimidate us parked up there, yeah. doing non emergency stuff, wasting taxpayers' money? Yeah. Are you wearing a head covering or is it a, a hat? Alright. Oh, right. Sorry, I pulled you over because the car's trying to make my insurance. You know full well I can request that footage. See you later, love you. So I've got our numbers, so we will request it. We don't reel to us. So a PC lesbian nan's Welsh cousin here, because this is her, the one driving the car. It's just admitted they are sat there wasting taxpayers' money trying to intimidate this group of people, which has just stood there. She just admitted that out of her own mouth. I don't know if you could hear it properly. I have turned up the volume a little bit to try and get better sound, but I don't know if it's coming through. She admitted to doing that. I think this person and her has had an altercation before. Well, in fact, I know. I know they have, as it's got ongoing cases with them. I tapped on the window. I tapped on the window. I tapped on the window. I tapped on the window to get your attention, to get off your high horse. You. Alright then, so let's get another thing straight. PC lesbian Nana's Welsh cousin here clearly believes that's her car. It's not her car, it's 
our car. We pay taxes. We give her the privilege to drive that car. So if we want to knock on the window to get her attention, we will. If we want to touch that car, we will. It's as simple as that. It's not your car. It's not your police station. It's our police station. It's our cars, not yours. You get the privilege of working in them and using them. It's as simple as that. And again, she deliberately swung that door open to try and hit him with the door. Did you see that? Then walk away. I'll speak to your colleague. Okay, you speak to me. Are you a PCSO? I am, but you Then I'll speak, speak to, to your other colleague. They're oh, they're at both PCSOs. So, you've written, you've, um, what, what did you call me, Josh? I believe it's Josh. And you call me Josh. Oh, big mistake. I don't know. What's your number, please? 39 That's been reported. You You're not allowed to give personal information out like that in front of other people. So, 3982. You're not allowed to give personal information? No. Nope. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh. Okay, so Jacob's texting that. It's your lap. Speaking me. No, I haven't got one. 2613. Go now. No. I'm asking you for go. You're causing a public nuisance no, I'm not. to the cinema. No, I'm not. You're causing harassment, alarm, and distress to the oh, cinema. Go, shall we go down that go one? Now, I'm going to arrest you for well, sexual he's gonna, she's, she's Okay, then. So you had a jump from different section to different section. So we'll go to the first one she quoted which is obviously a public nuisance is what she said. So it's a police and criminal sentencing and courts act of two, 2022. It's a pretty new one. Intentionally and recklessly causing a public nuisance. So it is section uh, 78 of this one, which is intentionally or recklessly causing a public nuisance. A person, a person commits an offence if he, if the person does an act or admits to do, admits to do an act that they are required to do by an oh man that, where is it because here I do not believe it could be classed as a public nuisance da, 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 da. but then she also jumped to like a section 5 we all know what a section 5 public order is he clearly did not commit a section 5 public order I am not going to go into that because we we cover it practically every single video I don't believe we need to go into that. She quoted a public nuisance. It could be classed as a public nuisance, but I, I, in here, I'm not going to read all this. If you want to read all this, there it is. Tell me which one it is in there. If you believe he is committing it, down in the comments. We all can admit it's not a Section 5 public order. So this PC, the PC lesbian Nan's Welsh cousin Clearly, he's just got it out for these lot. And you know she's going to be a troublemaker immediately from that. So it could be this one. Serious harassment, which obviously not serious harassment. She's going she's to arrest me for public order. Yes, I no, I I've done do. nothing wrong. I, do. I want to speak to the manager. He's recording okay. us and I have a right so to ask for so the detail. You. Yeah, so I'm in you. public. He's working for an organisation. Yes. And you've caused issues here before. No, I haven't. I've never caused issues. Your gang has. My gang. Right. Go on. You, you're digging okay. yourself a massive what hole, hole again. What hole? You're always digging yourself a hole. Calling us a git, uh, gang, calling us by my own name. Gangs. Turn them around in groups. No, I will not. All right, then. So she has got that correct sort of in a way. Gangs do tend to hang around in groups. So what she's basically admitting is the police force is a gang. She's just said it out of her own bloody stupid mouth without her actually realising. And that's what I would have pulled up to her straight away. So you're saying the police are a gang. Straight away. The police are. The police are the biggest gang in the world. A gang is an organised group that have matching uniforms or matching clothing. Go out in a group with the intentions to own an area. That's what a gang is. Now you tell me that the police is not a gang. I'll be moving until someone gets me the what number. Can I, yeah. What can I reasonably do to okay. ask you to move? Right. I want the number for head office so I can request well, I can't that footage. Give you that. Well, you can get that well, off you them. You can get that off Google, can't you? No, I can't. What can I reasonably do to no, ask you to move now? What can I reasonably do? 
we're in a public place. We've done right, nothing well, wrong. I'm There's nothing you, you can do. That you need to move now, otherwise I will arrest you. For what? For Section Five public order for causing harassment, alarm, and distress. Who's please. caused her? How? And how I, have I? You are. How have I? Stood outside here with a phone and a mask on. Yeah, it's it's not illegal. It is. Terrorists. Go. Okay then, so I didn't want to cover Section 5 Public Order, but she's going to force me to do it anyways. So, Section 5 Public Order Act of 1986, obviously it's Section 5, harassment, alarm and distress. A person is guilty of an offence if he, if he uses threatening or abusive words or behaviour or display disorderly behaviour or displays any written signs or other visual representation which is threatening or abusive within the hearing or sight of a person likely to be caused harassment, alarm or distress. These people stood outside with a face covering and a phone does not constitute any of this. So, Section 5 Public Order does not exist in this instance. Because stood outside with a mask on and a phone is not threatening, it's not abusive. So, it's none of this here at all. The fact that she honestly believes that it is this makes her pretty stupid. How is it? By they, recording? They can't yes. let out their customers. So what we're doing is asking you... By recording? Just move away. What? By recording? Carl, take this, I'm getting nicked. Why are you getting nicked? Because we're not allowed to record in a public place. Oh, take that. We're not causing a nuisance. If we want to stand here and record, we will stand in it and record. Well, you know I'm not doing anything wrong. He's had a tour. This is absolutely true. The customers in there yeah. are being let out. And they're not being let out because of, I'll be honest with you, because of your hate behaviour and because of your appearance. We haven't done anything so wrong. Listen, just Our do it for me. Do it for me. Can you just move away from the cinema? That way they can let out their customers. You can go about your business. They can go about theirs. I think that's pretty reasonable, though, right? No, but nick me. Yeah, because I put listen, in another claim. She did this last listen, time. Listen, mate, listen. She did this last time. So what they're saying here is they're creating a problem because the cinema doesn't want to open the doors and let people out because the way they're dressed and the fact that they're stood outside. So what happens during the day when that place is really busy? Does the cinema just not open because they're too scared to? Where's the logic in this? There's a group of people stood outside. Obviously, something's happened before this recording. Don't know what it is, so I'm not going to comment on it. The people inside the cinema have started recording them, and he just wants a number to corporate so he can request the footage. It's as simple as that, and this whole incident wouldn't have happened so far. But it's not going to go like that because you've got PC lesbian Nan's Welsh cousin here, which is on a power trip, and then you've got PCSOs, which are on a power trip as well. They can go, you can go, everything's fine. Get a dispersal. Okay. Get a dispersal. I will do. I will do. Go on. If that's what I can have do to do, too? I will do, I will get a dispersal. Go on, then. Go on. Sh show, us your, show us your car, and then we can talk about engines. No, no, no. Uh, listen, mate. Go on, you can just walk away. They can let their customers out. We're not stopping easy. the customers from coming out. Those customers actually said, why don't you try the other door? Thank you. It's, it's, a, it's an easy step though, isn't it, Rob? You go, you go back to your car, you can let out the customers, and then that's it, isn't it? Well, no, quite good things to be doing now, oh. why people come over. Which one? Yeah, but she's saying she's going to arrest me if I say okay, it. Right. I don't know. Well, the inspector will provide a dispersal order, so you'll have to go now. No way it would be that quick. Yeah. Absolutely no way. All right, then. So let's talk about uh, dispersal order or dispersal of a groups. So it is under the Antisocial Behaviour Act of 2003. Uh, it's section 30 to 36, I believe. Dispersal of a group and remove, removal of a person under the age of 16 to their place of residence. So, this section applies where a relevant officer has reasonable grounds of believing that any members of public have been intimidated, harassed, alarmed, or distressed as a result of the, the persons or behaviour of a group of two or more persons in public place. 
in any location in his police area, the relevant location and the antisocial behaviour act is a significant and position just to be honest, right? The bits what are relevant is section three to six, so here. Section three two six, which is there, but it's not because it goes on to five, four, and all this other stuff. But this is the bit what's relevant. Applies for uh, applies if a constable in uniform has reasonable grounds to reasonable grounds for believing that the person persons or behaviour behaviour of a group of two or more persons in any public place in Relevant locations has resulted or is likely to result in any members of the public being intimidated, harassed, or harassed, alarmed, or distressed. So they're trying to say people in the cinemas are feeling harassed, alarmed, distressed. That's why they're going to use this section as a dispersal order. I believe a dispersal order has to be put into place by a, an inspector or above. And I can't find that information at the minute, but I do believe that is the case. But that this is the basically the dispersal order, and what it's under. It, it, this is relevant, anyways. You'll you'll get why in a minute. Absolute no chance. No. Right. I'm asking you to leave now. I'm asking you one last time to leave. Just me. Yes. Why because, just me? Because at the moment you seem to be the ringleader. I'm not the ringleader. Okay. I'm the ringleader. I'm asking you. <laughs> right, go on, off you go. All of you, go. Carl, I'll go, I'll go on the, drive I'll to custody for me. Go on. No, you've been asked to leave, all of you. Go on. Go on. Go on. I've done nothing wrong. Yeah, I don't care if it's the first road we've taken to clear off. Over here. All right, police station car park. Grow what? You do need to grow up. What's your caller number? 2537. So as you've seen, this police constable has now gone hands-on because he's asked for his caller number. That's what I'm getting from this. They've already said they're going to move on. Fair enough, they didn't like where they said they're going to move on to. But they've got what they wanted. This group is going to move on. And because this police constable had a, a snarky remark, the person with the camera, Josh, has gone over to get his collar number. And he's gone over, and now they have grabbed him and gone, gone hands-on with him. And I can tell you right now, but no legal, they've got no legal basis to do it. You know, you need to go. Get off, you need to go. All right, police station, car park. Go on, off you go. Well, then, see you later. Go on. You do need to go up, actually. You need to go, mate. Okay? Oh! Hey! 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 Do not resist! You horrible people! Do not resist! Oh, the ass for the moment! Okay, so at this point, I'm going to tell you now, a dispersal order was not put into place. He did end up getting arrested, as you can tell. He gets arrested, he gets to the police station, he gets released because a dispersal order was not in place. So every single action from here on out is unlawful and is assault and battery on every single person which is getting involved or is being involved by what you're going to see. So here on out, everything you see... You can use reasonable fence to defend yourself. These officers have no legal basis to be attacking anybody. That's what this is. This is a, a gang attack on an individual which gets out of hand and ends up attacking the whole group of people which is there. Regardless if they're just watching, walking by, anything, they end up getting attacked. What you're going to see now is a blatant, vicious assault. Back off! Back off! Back off! Back off! Well, look at you, power trip, man. What are you doing, ripping that off? Give me your hand. Back off now. Back off! 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 Back off!
No, she's got the seat. Back off. She got pepper spray out now. I didn't even see you there. Back off. What the hell? Aaron, back off. I'm not even involved. I'm not being involved. She just sprayed me. Why have you sprayed it? Back off. Why are you spraying for no reason? Because you're intimidating. Back off. I'm recording. Back off. No. What's wrong with you? What did you mean? I'm definitely putting the claim in now against you. And there you go. After all that, like I say, no dispersal order, refused charge because there was no dispersal order in there. He has got a claim going on with HNK at the moment. I will keep you all up to date on what's happening in this incident. I truly hope that PC lesbian nan's welsh cousin here gets fired i just seen if we was to do that for starters if we have uh incompacitant sprays like what they like to call it cs gas pepper spray whatever you want to call it we would be getting uh, it's a firearm it's classed as a firearm it's plain and simple this was an unlawful discharge of a firearm that should be a five-year prison sentence for this complete idiot officer she didn't just spray individuals she spread the whole group as you've seen completely outrageous absolutely outrageous but that's just my opinions on this matter let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this and this interaction as always like the video it does open youtube's algorithm and i'll catch you on the next one